Lesson 26, Probability Distribution. A probability distribution is a table, graph, or formula that provides the probability for each possible value of a random variable. A random variable is an outcome that can result in various values which are determined by chance. The probability that a random variable results in a particular value x is denoted by the symbol lowercase p sub x. Probability distributions satisfy the following conditions. Where the first one states 0 less than or equal to p sub x less than or equal to 1, tells us that each individual probability p sub x can only equal values on the interval from 0 to 1. Now this is one of our basic rules of probability. Probability distributions produce the probabilities for every possible value of the random variable. As such, they follow all of the basic rules of probabilities themselves. The second condition, the sum of the probabilities for the random variable x for all possible values of the random variable x equal 1. This tells us that the sum of all the individual probabilities p sub x must equal 1 to account for all the possible outcomes. The probability distributions calculate the corresponding probabilities for all the possible outcomes. So if you were to sum or add up all the probabilities for all the possible outcomes of the random variable x, it will always equal 1, or 100%, indicating that it accounts for all the possible outcomes. For instance, in the game of craps, two standard six-sided dice are rolled, and the sum of the dots facing upwards determines the outcome of the various bets that are placed. So, when two standard six-sided dice are rolled in the game of craps, and we happen to roll a six on one die, a one on the other, six plus one results in a seven. Or if we happen to roll a three on one die, a one on the other, three plus one means the result is a four. Or we could roll a five on one die, a 6 on the other, and 5 plus 6 equals 11. Here the resulting roll would be 11. And depending on the various bets that are placed on the craps table, the winning or losing of those bets is determined based on this random roll of the dice. The probability distribution for the random variable x, which equals the sum of the dots facing upward when two standard six-sided dice are rolled, can be provided as a table, graph, or formula. Here is the probability distribution in table form for the results of rolling two dice in the game of craps. A probability distribution table displays every possible value of the random variable x, along with its corresponding probability of occurrence, p sub x. So the x lists all the possible outcomes. In this case, when two dice are rolled in the game of craps, the lowest that can be rolled is a one on one die, a one on the other, and 1 plus 1 equals 2. The most that can be rolled in the game of craps is rolling a 6 on one die, a 6 on the other, and 6 plus 6 equals 12. Thus, the only possible outcomes we can get when rolling dice in the game of craps is from a low of 2 up to a high of 12. And then in the probability table, next to each of the values of x are their corresponding probabilities. Notice how each of the probabilities follow the given conditions for probability distributions. First, each of the individual probabilities take on values on the interval from 0 to 1. And second, if we were to sum or add up all these probabilities, we would always get the result of 1. So in this case, the 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 36 over the common denominator of 36 and 36 divided by 36 equals 1, or 100%. Thus, this probability distribution table accounts for 100%, everything that could possibly happen when we roll the dice in the game of craps. For instance, the probability of rolling an 8 on any given roll of the dice in the game of craps is 5 out of 36. So the advantage to using probability distribution tables is that we can just look up probabilities for particular outcomes, in the table just by looking at the corresponding probability. There is no need to use the basic rules or count all the possible outcomes. We could just look up the resulting probabilities in the table. 
The disadvantage to using probability distribution tables is that these probability distributions only calculate the probability for the particular situation in which they were designed to. This probability distribution table only calculates probabilities for the results of rolling the dice in the game of craps. It cannot calculate probabilities for any other purpose. Now, probability distributions can be written in table form, but they could also be written in graphical form. So the probability distribution graph for the results of rolling the dice in the game of craps can be written in histogram form, where the horizontal axis represents the values of all the possible random variables x. In this case, the results of rolling the dice in the game of craps. And the vertical axis represents all the corresponding probabilities, p of x and the probabilities can be represented in fraction, decimal, or percentage form. So we could use our probability distribution histogram to calculate probabilities just by looking up the results in the graph. For instance, if we wanted to find the probability of rolling an eight in the game of craps, we could just find the particular bar in the histogram corresponding to eight, and then it's the height of the bar that communicates the corresponding result, in this case, the probability. So the probability of rolling an eight in the game of craps is equal to 13.89%. So just reading the height of the bar in the probability distribution histogram can communicate the following probabilities. There is no need to count all the possible outcomes that can occur. In this case, rolling an eight can occur five different ways. By rolling either a two on the first die and a six on the other, two plus six is eight, or a five and a three, five plus three is eight, or four plus four is eight, also five plus three equals eight, and six plus two equals eight. There's five ways of rolling an eight out of a total of, well, with two six-sided dice, we could have any one of six possibilities on one die, or six possibilities on the second die, or six times six, 36 possible outcomes. So the probability of rolling an eight is five chances out of 36. There's no need to result to counting all the possible outcomes when you have a probability distribution. It'll just provide you with the probability either in the table or graphical form. Or we could also provide probability distributions in formula form. The probability distribution formula for the results of rolling the dice in the game of craps is equal to p sub x, which is equal to six subtract the absolute value of the quantity seven minus x all divided by 36. So here, any particular value of the random variable can be plugged into this formula, and the resulting output would equal the probability of getting that result. To enter the entire probability distribution into our T84 calculator, we need to go to the lists by pressing STAT and ENTER. Here we have some old data from a previous problem in list one and list two, so we can clear out old data to make room for our probability distribution by using the arrow buttons to navigate to the list name, in this case, L2, pressing clear, enter, clears out the list two data. And then using the arrows to navigate up to the list one name, L1, and pressing clear, enter, clears out the old data from list one. Now in list one, we can enter in all the possible values of the random variable X, which in this case was two, through 12. So I press 2, enter, 3, enter, 4, enter, 5, enter, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and finally 12. Now we press the arrow button over to list 2 and arrow up to the list 2 name, L2. If we don't have the cursor highlighted on L2, we'll get an error. So make sure we use the up button to highlight the L2 name. Here in list two, we're gonna put the probabilities for each of the possible random variable values in list one. We do this by just typing in the formula. We start off with a left parenthesis to group the numerator. And then the formula is six subtract. The absolute value is found by pressing math, arrow over to the num menu, and selecting ABS for absolute value. It's the absolute value of seven, subtract the value of the random variable X, which we have entered into list one. So pressing second one brings up list one where our X data values are. Then right parenthesis to close off the absolute value, 
and another parenthesis to close off the numerator. And then this is all divided by 36. Pressing Enter, all of list 2 now has the calculated probabilities associated with the random variable values that were in list 1. For instance, to find the probability that we roll an 8 in the game of craps, just use the arrow button to navigate to 8, and then across from 8 will be the corresponding probability. There is a 0.13889 probability that we roll an 8 in the game of craps. So when we have probability distribution formulas, we could use our T84 calculator to help us calculate the probabilities, therefore avoiding the need to use the basic rules or do all the counting of all the possible outcomes ourselves. The mean for a random variable x with the probability distribution piece of x is given by the following formula. The standard deviation for a random variable x with the probability distribution piece of x is given by the following formula. Fortunately for us, the following formulas are programmed into the TI-84 calculator, so we won't have to calculate these formulas ourselves by hand. But what we should note from these formulas is that the symbol mu sub x is used to represent the mean of the random variable, and sigma sub x is used to represent the standard deviation for the random variable x. That is, the probability distributions are based off of all the possible outcomes. Thus, the probability distribution is essentially giving us the population. Thus, when we calculate the mean and standard deviation based off of the probability distribution, we use the symbol mu sub x and sigma sub x, that is, the population forms of these symbols to represent the mean and the standard deviation. For instance, Calculate the mean and the standard deviation for the random variable x, which equals the sum of the dots facing upward when two standard six-sided dice are rolled. So we will use the TI-84 calculator to calculate the mean and the standard deviation for us. Now that we have the entire probability distribution entered into list 1 and list 2, where list 1 contains x, the random variable, and list 2 contains p of x, the probabilities, we can calculate the corresponding mean and standard deviation by pressing STAT, right arrow to calculate, ENTER to select the one bar STATS command, and then we tell the calculator what list we put the data in. Here we have the data in two lists, list one that we get to by pressing second and one, and then we need to separate it using the comma from the second list, list two. We get to list 2 by pressing 2nd and 2. So here we have the one var stats command for list 1, comma, list 2, where list 1 contains the random variable x values and list 2 contains the p of x, the probabilities. Pressing enter, we have the calculated result for the mean and standard deviation. Now since the calculation of the population mean and the sample mean give the same exact result, the one var stats command in the TI-84 calculator is programmed only to display x bar, the sample mean symbol. That's because most of the time in statistics we're dealing with samples. But in this case, when we're calculating our mean based off of the entire probability distribution, we basically have the whole population. So the symbol we use to represent the mean would be the population symbol, mu sub x. So even though the calculator says x bar equals 7, since we know that this is based off of the probability distribution that is accounting for 100% of everything that could possibly happen, or the population, we use the symbol mu sub x to represent the mean. So in this case, mu sub x equals 7. And the standard deviation is used as the population standard deviation. So the sigma sub x rounds off to about 2.4. So here we found the mean and the standard deviation for the random variable x, which equals the sum of the dots facing upward when two standard six-sided dice are rolled. So the mean result in the game of craps is rolling a 7, and the standard deviation in the game of craps is about 2.4. The mean for the random variable x is referred to as the expected value of x. The expected value of x is denoted by the symbol e of x. 
Thus, e of x is equal to mu sub x. The term expected value communicates the notion that this is the value of the random variable that is supposed to occur when data is produced as the result of this random process. That is, we could always hope for the best or fear the worst, but you should always expect the typical, usual, or average result to occur. So the expected outcome is the average or mean outcome. For instance, since the mean for the random variable x, which equals the sum of the dots facing upward when two standard six-sided dice are rolled equals seven, each time the dice are rolled in the game of craps, the result is expected to be a seven. Thus, we always expect the mean to occur. Looking at the probability distribution graph, we can see that the mean of seven is the most likely thing to occur. So every time you roll the dice, even though the outcome can be anything from a low of two to a high of 12, the most likely thing, or the typical result, is a seven. So we refer to that as the expected value. In statistics, it is more practical and beneficial to calculate probabilities using the appropriate probability distribution than just relying on the basic rules of probability. As the random process under investigation becomes more complex, counting the total number of possible outcomes and calculating probabilities using only the basic rules of probability becomes more complicated. Thus, taking the time to learn and understand the application of probability distributions will greatly expand the type and complexity of probabilities that we can solve.